you eat 10 units of a fruit, it yields 12,000 angstroms of energy. If you eat 10 units of a vegetable, it only yields 9,000 angstroms of energy. If you do the same thing with meat, it only yields 3,000 angstroms of energy. And then things like McDonald's yield zero, <laughs> no energy. If you look at a highly you know, expanded consciousness like so-called black people, we have something in our brains called melanin neurotransmitters. You know, nobody else have these melanin neurotransmitters but dolphins and primates. They have eel melanin, but they don't have neuromelanin. We have neuromelanin. We need a fuel to keep that autonomic nervous system or the enteric nervous system moving and functioning properly. It's called the parasympathetic and the sympathetic nervous system. That needs fuel to fire off. The only thing that can truly... Yeah, Shalom. It is the book of Jude. Verse 24, now to him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise power, our savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever, so be it. Giving all praises, our honor and our glory to the heavenly father and his only begotten son, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rokhaha Kodash. Double honor to my teachers, the apostles, the elders, and the bishops of Great Millstone who watch over our souls. Shalom to the Akim worldwide that are sincere and serious in doing the will of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rokhaha Kodash. Second Peter chapter 1, verse 1 or 2 to you all. Stay strong and stay mighty. So you am the brother. The disciple Kosha Banyamin from the branch and great minister in Barbados. So the voice you hearing, the voice you heard in this video here is the voice of this man here. Do not drink water. Dogs drink water. Camels drink water. Four-legged beasts drink water. Do you know in order to drink water scientifically, you will have to stand on all fours, you have to elongate your neck, and you have to lap the water with your tongue? Your tongue is not even long enough, and it don't have the type of muscles that other mammals have to even lap that water in. In order for you to drink water, you got to close your hands together and do this. You got to do everything but what you can do naturally with it to even drink this water. You getting water in cups and glasses. You weren't born with cups, glasses, and bowls, and none of that other shit. These are utensils that you make for you can assimilate other creatures for you can start drinking these things Just like you make knives and you make forks because you don't have claws like a carnivore And you make these knives and these forks that you can claw and rip and tear into flesh Showing you that you were not created to eat flesh Same thing when it comes to water that comes out of wells and, and oceans and lakes You were not made to drink that If you was, then your neck and your digestive tract would be made a certain way Your tongue would be elongated a certain way for it can lap and get that water in. Guess what you ain't got to do that when you're eating your water. See, you're supposed to eat water. You're supposed to chew water. You're not supposed to drink water. Human beings is not a drinking faculty. Y'all, if you do not drink water. All right, Shalom, brothers and sisters out there. All praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Right, so I just wanted to, um... Do not drink water. Dogs drink Yeah, this, this gentleman here, Yaki... Yakia, whatever you fucking name. Easy voice behind this video here, you see? Dealing with uh, different. See here, detox cleanser, herpes. Um, fight boys, that's dealing with women. Go pen anti-inflammatory thyroid etc um, I ain't going to this part here the other here everybody here my not out by me into it already showing you that uh, <laughs> look we can't drink water you know, these fucking you know you know these these herbalists these herbalists right these these herbalists like Dr. Sebi, um this gentleman here and many others they never give their credit to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Never ever do it. They think that they discovered this wisdom 
of their own agenda. Is right. They think they discovered this their, this wisdom of their own agenda. That they were just so smart. You see? Right. So you some scriptures here that get put up in the comic book from myself, Judges 7, verse 4, etc. Dean of the Water. The other brother went into it too. Um, Apostle Tara here. First Timothy 5.23. Drink no longer water. Drink no longer water. So you can't drink water. Right? But use a little wine for the stomach. Say it did when you got a uh, certain infirmity in your stomach. But so these say here. Do not drink water. Dogs drink water. Camels drink water. Four-legged beasts drink water. Do you know in order to drink water scientifically, you would have to stand on all four. Scientifically. So right there and then, he leaning on Esau's understanding. He leaning on Esau's understanding. Scientifically, you gotta do this, and scientifically, you gotta do that. But I ain't wanna focus on that part. What I wanna focus on is you, you heard, but it's never give credit where credit is due. Right? I just wanna, I had the word um, herbalist here. The definition. Right? You never give credit where credit is due. Herbalist. Right? Herbalist. A practitioner of herbalism, a dealer of medicinal herbs, right? Um, a herbalist treat patients using plant-based remedies and other treatments. Responsibilities typically include undertaking patient consultations to diagnose illnesses, and conditions and to select appropriate remedies gaining information from patients about previous physical slash medical history and symptoms right a person who collects or grows herbs so you get the point but the law calls them physicians But the point that this video is doing is you never give credit where credit. You actually think that you've got this knowledge of your own wisdom, of your own that you do you, you just this deep. You never give credit where credit is due. Is that? Right? Let me get that preset in, in, in your pocket for my. Let me get that preset in your pocket for Right? It's good that you're using the herbs, the herbs, the Lord gave medicines of the earth, right? He saw as we describe the, pharma, the pharmaceutical industries, basically world pharmaceutical goes to the world pharmacia, which means witchcraft, right? Basically, uh, created things out of, uh, creating medicines using uh, a synthetic process is right which is not good for the human body so this is um say what 38 I want honor a physician with the honor due unto him for the usage which ye may have of him for the Lord have created him how did the heavenly father create this physician by giving him understanding of what this herb does what this plant does what this fruit does you know what I mean what what a what a kiwi would do to the body a lemon etc a beetroot a ginger right he gave these men this understanding and women too this understanding but you that receive this understanding you quote unquote herbalist you never give credit where credit is due. And you better hope the Lord don't take that knowledge from you. You better hope you don't take that knowledge from you. Because the Lord give and the Lord take. Did not, did not Job say that? Wait, Job said that. My Job said that. Wait a minute, man. My Job said that. Job said that, man.
the Lord said that man to the book of Job right Job Job 1.21 Job chapter 1 verse 21 let me get that right like when I really feel when again gain this knowledge from one of one job and that's what's happened to you see man that's another precept too boy when you get too high and mighty and knowledge right you 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 put away you put away the more side you see job one Job chapter 1 verse 21 and said naked came I out of my mother's womb and naked shall I return thither the Lord Yahweh gave and the Lord Yahweh have taken away blessed be the name of the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai see the Lord gives and the Lord can take away big man so anything you got in your life the Lord gave you that he can take it from you so whatever knowledge you got even engineering in any field you see music you see I think who it was is it Dennis is it I forget who it was I think it's Barry Hammond I think he got a problem he had a problem with his throat take away his singing career man but boom just take it just like that so about 18 I mean say about 38 and 12 then give place to the physician for the Lord have created him let him not go from thee for thou has need of him right so the physician the physician right is there to give you uh, uh, the correct medicines right to heal whatever ailment you have or to take take good care of the body that you have is right you have to the gift everybody can got the same gift is right so you're right 38 and 2 for of the most high so come if healing so again you 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 taking all these herbs and things is very good but if you don't pray to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh he will not heal you big man he could prolong your sickness be he could prolong your sickness right I'm gonna never give the heavenly father son no praise at all big man for of the boy I come with healing and he shall receive honor of the king the skill of the physician shall lift up his head and in the sight of great men he shall be in admiration there like like um who comes to mind now is um dr sebi he comes to mind right he comes to mind dr sebi comes to mind you see right. but he 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 never gave credit where credit was due and that's to the heavenly father yahweh yah means he yahweh means to be or exist and his only begotten son yahweh shah yah means he I will show me deliver our redeemer. He never did it. You see where you get um, knowledge puff it up, right? You take a post it that in here too. Let me see if we post that in here. I believe we post it that in here, man. Is right? Knowledge puff it up first. Korean yeah, I want to think it is. Yeah, look at here, look, man. This is why Paul's first Corinthians 8 and 1. Now, as touching things offered unto idols, we know that we all have knowledge. Knowledge puff it up, but charity edifieth. If any man think that he knoweth anything, he knoweth nothing, yet as he ought to know. But if any man love the more side, the same is known of him. So, he, he might really think he knows saying. Is right? He and others like him. But the Lord could take whatever little knowledge you got there, take it away from you, big man. Why? Because you ain't giving credit where credit is due. And I think he I think the boy brother said a brother here said that he was a, he was in a camp. Yeah, look at here, look. 
enjoy these last days. He said, goodness gracious, laugh out loud. Khan, he used to be with a camp. I used to call on Yahweh, but now when I see him on different interviews, he says Yahweh. He says Yahweh now. Shall I warm a lot? You see that? You see that? You see that? So he used to, he was in a camp. He was out there prophesying. Calling on the true name of the Heavenly Father and Son, but now look, he turned his back on the plow. I know he calling on another God, big man. So eventually he is going to he is going to slip and fall. You know what? This um I want to get some here quick wisdom shall not enter into a malicious soul. That wisdom of Solomon one. Wait a minute, man. Lord, take that wisdom for you, brother. Let's see repent. But I mean you took your hand off the plug, so that between you and the most I know, boy. Wisdom of Solomon one. Yeah. Let me start a verse. Three, for forward thoughts separate from the Mosai, and its power when it is tried reproveth the unwise. For into a malicious soul wisdom shall not enter, nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin. For the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee deceit and remove from thoughts that are without understanding and will not abide when unrighteousness cometh in. So, what will happen? log and leave you big man and you will start to spew more madness you see can't drink the water you can't tell me at all though but this is what's happening when you lean on your own understanding right let me get that proverbs 3 can't drink the water though. proverbs chapter 3 man and verse 5 Trust in the Lord Yahweh, Bahasham Yahushai with all thy heart, and lean not unto thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thy own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. It shall be health to thy navel and marrow to thy bones. So you turn your back on the Lord, boy. You call it by Yahweh now. Right? And you feel you all this deep because you get the knowledge of the herbs and fruits. But you're giving credit where credit is due. You say? You gain what is like what 38. Log you this understanding and you turn your back on it. You feel you get done there? Nah, brother. So um say rock back and say rock. Ecclesiasticus 38. Say so right 38 and verse 3 again. The skill of the physician shall lift up his head, and in the sight of great men he shall be in admiration. The Lord have created medicines out of the earth, and he that is wise will not abhor them. So everything comes from Yahweh, Bahasham Yahushai, man. You see? Right? And he give each man the proportion of gift. Some men could knowledge of the herbs. Some men knowledge of uh, uh, um, engineering. You know what I mean? You you name it. You name it. Is that it? Was not the water made sweet with wood that the virtue thereof might be known? And he have given men skill. See, he have given men skill that he might be honored in his marvelous works you see that so all kind of skills that you could think of he gave men that skill big man welding carpentry you know what I mean cooking you see right? verse 7 there's such that he healed men right and take it for real their pains you see the heavenly father does this big man of such that the apothecary made a confection, and of his words there is no end, and from him is peace over all the earth. See? See? Verse 9 My son, in thy sickness, be not negligent, but pray unto the Lord, and he will make thee whole. See? So, so when you take 
and you're taking your, your herbs and your medicines and whatnot, yeah, but don't forget, pray to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, saying to water Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, for this medicine I'm about to take. May it be nourishing, beneficial, and healing to my body. To water for the physician you appoint, whichever brother it is, or whatever apostle it was, big man. I learned this knowledge of the herbs to your first, the headman on first, big man. It's right. And then trickle on onto the rest of the men. It's right. So it might be in here right now because I, I, in my infirmity, catch up on me for this, for the, from my turn is your turn. It's right. Um, but he's still giving praises, still praying, still dealing with it. It's right. I take him early, bang, boom, come back, bang, boom, come back, because I ain't been busy Passover season, so this will be a heavy season for me. So a lot of things happen for me, happen to me around this time, you see? I accept it, I deal with it, you see? But how we deal with it? Let me read the precept again. My son, so I wrote 30 years and now my son, in thy sickness be not negligent. But pray unto the Lord, and he will make thee whole. He can appoint a physician, you know, brother. You know what I mean? So, like, yeah, big man, like, take this here, like, boom. See? Right? Verse 10, leave off from sin, and order thy hands aright, and cleanse thy heart from all wickedness. Give a sweet savor and a memorial of the flower. And a memorial of fine flour and made a fat offering as not being. Then give place to the physician, for the Lord have created him. Let him not go from thee, for thou has need of him. See? Right? Anyhow, man. Um, one last preset. That's what. I know that's a song we think it is. Yeah, what we think you saw was able to be using the caucus mode is eating all them uh, herbs up there, big man. Huh? Um it's herbs for the service of man. Purpose for the service of mine, so like a minute. Purpose for the service of mine. Come on, man. Purpose for the service of mine. I know that's a preset, man. For that, like brother. Psalms 104. I was right. Psalms 104 and 4. He caused the grass to grow for the cattle and herb for the service of man, that he may bring forth food out of the earth. See? So that's player, man. I'm going along with this here. See? Don't lean for you won't understand it. You herbalists never give credit where credit is due, man. You never give credit where credit is due. You better start acknowledging who gave you this wisdom. Force, you have to elongate your neck and you have to lap the water with your tongue. Your tongue is not even long enough and it don't have the type of muscles that other mammals have to even lap that water in. In order for you to drink water, you gotta close your hands together, do this, you gotta do everything but what you can do naturally with it to even drink this water. You getting water in cups and glasses. You weren't born with cups, glasses, and bowls and none of that other sh For Christ's sake, you the born with a host? You the bomb with a hose. You the bomb with clothes on your back. Come to you. You had these things with me. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Anyhow, man.